Okay, I don't know what I really got myself into. Look at this, look at this project. It's pretty crazy. So today I agreed to say, hey, yeah, I'll come out, look at your foundation. Just let me shoot a video. And then I walk out here and the whole structure is like 12 inches off the ground. So a uh, very unique project today. I'm gonna tell you some of the things I would look for as a home inspector, but obviously this is gonna be outside of my skill set. This is gonna be more uh, to an engineer, but we can take a look at it, try to get an understanding of what's going on here, and then maybe we can reach out to the company and talk to them in the future. As I talk about what I would look for as a home inspector, I would really wanna stress that I'm not charging for this. I wouldn't charge for something that I don't know too much about. That's why I really would like to reach out to the company and maybe they can train me or I can teach other home inspectors what to look for, for when you get something this extreme. But as when you're looking for something this extreme, some of the things that I would look for when I first come out is separation in the veneer. Do I have any cracks through the slab and I'm worried about underground plumbing? Are the piers straight and level? Are the shims well done? You know, those are some of the major things that sticks out to me right away. Then as I go through the structure, I'll shoot levels of the floor. And as I shoot levels of the floor, do, uh, do they fall within normal tolerances? I know the tolerances are gonna be a lot different because this project's way above just shooting levels of the floor. But as a home inspector, say they made this all come nice and clean, those are the things that come to my mind as if I was inspecting it as a pier and beam structure. So as I was walking around, I noticed that there was some separation between the window and the brick here. The project manager met me out here and he was saying that was already like that. And uh, it came from the drop that was first initial here. So they raised this structure 18 inches and uh, there was already there was a negative six inch drop in this corner. So they actually had to raise it even more on this side. The, they raised it and leveled it out to the rest of the structure, but uh, there is some separation there, but they kept the separation the same. It's something they're gonna have to come in and fix down the line. The next item when I was talking about how did they fix the plumbing underneath the structure, and right here you can see they have new uh, PVC drain lines. You always wanna make sure there's a negative slope on these items. Uh, because sometimes whenever they're leveling homes, they won't have a, a complete negative slope. And then also the connections underneath the toilets and the bathrooms, you wanna run an excessive amount of water to make sure that there's no leaks. Uh, today, I didn't really catch any leaks, uh, but you do, you still wanna double check it. I mean, all the way to the point right before they start doing, filling this up. What is unique about this structure is that they're going to keep all of this empty underneath here and they're gonna build it as a pier and beam. So they're gonna bring out the brick out here and drop it down and give it a nice clean look on the way up. So if you do have underground plumbing leaks, you can easily get to this and the, the fix will be a lot cheaper. Okay, uh, the next item that stuck out to me is uh, the crack through the slab right here. This crack was original before the project too as well. This is the failure point of where the slab started sloping. So this is the pivot point right here. And uh, this is where that five to six inch drop that way started to happen. So right here, it appears the engineer put a pier right underneath this spot. And it, it does appear to be performing today. You know, as a home inspector, I'm never going to know if this is adequate or not. My job is to determine if it's performing or not and does it follow the engineer's plans. And today, it does. Okay, one of the last items I'm really gonna talk about is um, on, the, on the side right here, you can see that all the piers are, I look underneath the structure all the way around and all the piers are straight and all of the shims are nice and tight underneath the, the slab. So you know there's not gonna be any movement or heavy movement from uh, piers leaning over and falling over. So they look really good. One of the biggest things that I am impressed with on the inside of the structure is the lack of real damage that's happened inside. The company that lifted this structure did an amazing job. I mean, the, we only got one stress crack in, uh, on the inside and if they cleaned up that stress crack, new sheet rock, new paint, no one would ever know that there was any issue in the past besides it being lifted up off out of the ground um, really great job guys i won't i know they asked me not to drop the company name in there or the project manager did but he is going to reach out to him to see if i can do a future video with him i really hope they do because this is this is new this is really amazing to me and i would love to learn as much as i possibly can all right guys if you like these types of videos 
please hit that bell and hit the subscribe button and uh, hopefully you can catch the video where I am going to shoot it with the, the project manager and the engineer and maybe they can talk to us more about this structure and me just kind of winging it through there. But uh, that's Chris with A Action and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.